You know, for some reason, the media always, I think, picks on Salman for his life, or he's known as a blue-eyed media boy. Talk about your experience with Salman. Uh, my experience with Salman, uh, he's a great guy. Uh, I was shooting Janiman with him, and uh, we had to be at a certain location at 6 o'clock in the morning. And if we don't start, and I'm a type of person that if a time is given for that location, we want to finish that portion at that location because uh, after some time it goes into overtime. Uh, or it becomes a difficult situation where the location says, no, we cannot give you after 4 o'clock because mm -hmm. you have to get out. Mm -hmm. So there was a scene we were shooting uh, in Brooklyn and uh, we had to be out of that location by 4.30 before the residents starts coming back in that residential area because of the parking issue. So the area would not allow me to shoot unless I told them that I will pack up by 4.30. In order to pack up at 4.30, I had to start rolling my camera at 6, which means we had to start staging and setting up that location at 3 in the morning. Yeah. Look, uh, Salman, I just need to let you know that first I went to Sajid, who was the producer of the film. I said, can you please notify your talents, your actors, that uh, they have to be on time. And if we don't do a shoot on a certain time, we'll lose out the location. And he very coolly looked at me and he said, why don't you just bata de na tu? Why don't you talk to them? So I said, fine. He just disappeared. Okay. He just walked away. Okay. Salman came in and I said, Salman, we have a situation. He's like, yeah, what's up? Yeah. I said, we have a situation tomorrow. Uh, we're shooting this particular location and uh, it cannot be late uh, because we have a time constraint. Not that you're late, but I just want to make you aware. Mm -hmm. uh, so he just looked at me and said, what time is the call time? What time do you want me to be there? Mm -hmm. I said, make sure you're there by 6 o'clock. So I'll have the call ready at 5.30 and uh, see you at 6 tomorrow morning. And he just looked at me like, okay, bro, I'll see you at 6. <laughs> okay, fine. The next morning, I get to my set. It's about 4.30 in the morning. And I see uh, Shera, who's his uh, bodyguard, okay. uh, and his companion, right-hand guy. I see Shera on the set, and I see Raju, who's his makeup artist. And I asked him, I said, what are you guys doing? So we are here. So I said, where is, where is Salman? So Salman opens the vanity truck, the makeup uh, van, and he's like, bro, I'm here before you guys, okay? So don't tell me anymore. And he shuts the door. So it's like he just slept last night, I don't know. Yeah. But, uh, but it's a very cool thing to see. Mm. You know, I was a little, uh, not exactly embarrassed, but I was impressed. I said, wow, okay. this guy is dedicated. Okay. You started out as a line producer, but for RA1 with Shah Rukh, the latest, uh, one of the latest films that you worked on in Bollywood, you were the executive producer. So how did your role shift from being a line producer to an executive producer, which is a lot more challenging, I would say? Well, coincidentally, it was at this property where we are, at this hotel. We're shooting My Name is Khan and uh, Shah Rukh was, he called me up in his room and we were just discussing something and he said, Prashant, I want you to shut down your phone and give me half an hour. I said, okay, fine. So he narrated RA1 to me and uh, he said, you know, I, this is a little synopsis, the treatment I have and I want to develop a superhero film because uh, my kids always think that I'm doing a Hollywood writer. Because, of course, India has done a superhero film like Krish and all that. Of course, Rakesh Roshan, who's also another big, uh, huge family friend, and uh, I worked with him also. And I said, let's put a writer from here, from Hollywood, so it can bring the superhero creative aspect. And then you put in the writer team from India that will bring the uh, Indian element of emotion. So Anubhav Sinha, myself, Shah Rukh, we all spent in this hotel yeah. days and days trying to figure out how to work and I said uh, Shah Rukh, how do you want me to work on this project with you? He said this is your film, you decide what you want okay. and uh, we have come to a, to a part of our life whether it's Shah Rukh or Karan and people I work with, there's no longer a financing talks. Mm -hmm. It is all about uh, I have to make a film, you're Great. going to do this film, let's do it together and let's work together. And uh, so he was the one, he said you know I want you to be the EP on this project be the executive producer because you are taking all the decisions and you're making all the sh shots on this come on this project and this project I want to shoot in Tokyo I remember him mentioning that he wants to shoot in Japan mm -hmm. 
And I said, Shahrukh, I don't know about Japan because the Happy Meal at McDonald's in Japan is $9. Yeah. So as a producer, I feel very expensive to shoot over there. Uh, let's shoot uh, somewhere in Miami or uh, because we wanted a very modern city, uh, camera friendly. So we started putting the team together and I brought in the entire team from Hollywood that became the part of the movie. And of course, Anubhav Sinha, who was the director of the film, uh, he had a huge uh, list of people that he wanted. Uh, like he wanted a cameraman called Uli Steiger. Uli Steiger has done films like Independence Day and big movies. So we worked with Uli uh, and he was going to be the original cinematographer for us. But after we shifted from Miami instead and we went to London, Uli was not happy. He was like, uh, I didn't sign up this movie because of London and I don't like London. So I'm not going to shoot this. So it worked out. Uh, at the end, we got a cameraman from a DP from Italy. Again, he was a big uh, Nicola, he was a big DP. And uh, so we put all the team together out of LA. Uh, but that's how I came into the picture was when Shah Rukh pretty much put the responsibility on my shoulder and said, listen, I'm, I'm gonna finance the picture. I'm working on the movie and I want you to do this as a family for me. And that's how I ended up being an EP and uh, putting the whole show together before, I would say about eight. From being a line producer to being an executive producer, you've embarked recently on your next journey to become a producer in Hollywood for Ben Arroyo Films. What a drastic change, may I say, or how is that going? It's part of the journey. Uh, I wouldn't say a change, it's a shift. Uh, I've produced uh, close to 20 projects over the last 15 years in the US and Canada for Bollywood. And uh, a time has come where I have to now you know, get on, merge into a different freeway or different lane on the freeway and uh, I decided that uh, I would like to get involved into Hollywood projects. And uh, Benaroya Pictures, uh, a LA based company, uh, they're a young but enterprising company. Uh, they have about seven to eight large feature films in New York, I Love You. Uh, the last big film they made which was an Oscar film called Margin Call. Yes. Uh, and myself and Mr. Ben and I have been talking back and forth on doing some co-productions or doing some projects together and working on some projects effectively together. And it just so happened that during one of the conversation, he mentioned, he said, why don't you, uh, we, we, what we know the best is financing films and we distribution and so forth and uh, you know physical production and we would like films that are produced by ourselves instead of others producing it for us. And it would be good to put the two synergy of what you have, your expertise of producing pictures and what we have in Hollywood, if that combines, it'll be a great, great win situation for us. So you've come in-house into Benaroya? I've come into in-house with Benaroya Pictures. It was, there's no point of me merging my company, Bollywood Hollywood Production, because mm -hmm. uh, uh, multiple reasons and one, the most important being that uh, the focus of Benaroya Pictures is only Hollywood. Yeah. And to take that, uh, ship and captain that ship and navigate into the ocean out there and sail it across to a destination that it needs to go and create that journey path. Uh, so taking that position into the company as a VP and the head of production as a producer, uh, right now we're looking at about close to a dozen movies to be produced in the next three years. And that again, is- Again, multitasking. Again, multitasking, yes. So there are films I have right now, Hollywood movies, that are going to be all over the world uh, that will be putting projects together. Tell me about Ben Arroyo Films and the type of projects that you're working on. What are some of the themes that are coming about, some of the current topics? Right now, slate of films that I'm looking into, they're primarily ranging anywhere from a $3 million picture to a $50 million picture. Uh, we have uh, action films, uh, thrillers, uh, looking at classics, family dramas. So the genre of films that I, I'm producing or I will be producing in Hollywood that is on my slate now is a mixed blend of every type of film you can imagine. Uh, horror, there's a horror film that I'll be doing. There's a couple of romantic action films. There's a thriller. There is a superhero film that's in discussion. It's, it's a very initial stage. Uh, but mainly the mixed blend of Hollywood. So I don't want to just stay focused in saying, okay, we make only romantic films. I mean, we have done that for last decade, but 
despite of that, there's always been an element of action or thriller or superhero. Same thing over here, whereas Hollywood is very formal in genre market. If it's a superhero, it's a superhero. If it's paranormal activity, it's paranormal activity. Whether it's a horror, then it's strictly horror. Prashant, you started out from the IT industry and you moved into the film industry, starting out with Love in Times Square from a one-man show to having in created 50,000 jobs and winning the um, award, being awarded the Producer of the Year Award from, from the Department of Commerce. That is a long journey. Did you have that vision when you started out? I, when I started out, uh, my vision was only to create the bridge between Bollywood and Hollywood. And that's why I called my company Bollywood Hollywood, uh, which was 10, 20, 99, since 1999. So it's about 14 years now. So when I started that company, it was uh, mainly to bridge between the two continents. Uh, at that time, I had no vision per se how big it will go or where I will take it to or where it will take me to. And it has been more of the company or my journey taking me as opposed to me taking the journey uh, to where I am today. So yes, I mean, uh, US Congress awarded me producer of the year award and uh, creating, I came in this country looking for a job yeah. and then creating 50,000 jobs. So yes, it has been a fantastic journey and it would not have been possible if uh, those who did not trust on what I was doing. So a big thanks goes to from people like Dev Saab to Karan to Shah Rukh and uh, including the guy who makes chai on my set, yes. uh, the person who makes the food on my trucks. Uh, I actually thank them for being there with us and it is not uh, I have been successful, we have been successful and uh, a journey has come to a point where it is a, taking a turn into the new hemisphere of my life. Very long journey and very uh, fruitful journey that you've had in filmmaking and I hope that it continues and you do really well with Ben Arroyo Films and your future projects. All I can say is people have been kind, God has been kind and everyone I've worked has been kind to me. Mm -hmm. So it is just that their well wishes is what has brought me where I am and uh, I think it will continue another destination that I have to reach uh, before we do something crazy. Thank you for your time, Prashant. Quite it's, welcome. You know, it's uh, wonderful talking to you about films. I know we both are buffs, you more than me probably. Uh, but it's really good to talk to you. Thank you Thank for your you. time. Thank you. Thank you and wish you the best. Thank you. Thank you.